Anyways, hello everybody. Hello. Bill Batson here, Batson Enterprises here with Blank Talk. I'm with Eden Batson here with Batson Enterprises with Blank Talk. No, I didn't <laughs> yeah. do that good. That's okay. That's all right. So we're doing our fourth episode. Yes, fourth episode. Yep. We had a lot of great response. People mm-hmm. are loving it. You guys are amazing. Um, can, can you hear us? Ask, ask it out there. Make sure everybody can hear us. Everything is good. Um, I mean, you can hear him from like 10 miles away. Yeah, so I that's talk not loud. A yeah. <laughs> my wife's deaf, so I talk really loud. Mm-hmm. My mother is deaf, so <laughs> I talk really loud. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> so Tom, Tom wants to know what the safe word this week is. The safe word this, wor- this week is going to be steelhead. 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 So if I'm pulling on something and. <laughs> And you're gonna lose it, or something's gonna happen. Yeah, it's I got steelhead. I got a towel here so I can dry my hands beforehand. Good. Oh, beforehand. Beforehand. No <laughs> pun intended. No pun intended. Sorry, folks. It um, is Friday. It's been another long week here at Batson Enterprises. Yep. We've been extremely busy, which is great. Like I said, this program has really um, shot off. Shot off. Brought a lot of people. Asking a lot of questions. Yeah, we've gotten an overwhelming amount of responses. You guys are amazing, asking really great questions. And this week we decided to focus on salmon steelhead in the rivers, though, folks, mm-hmm. because you know salmon steelhead is you know obviously we, we fish in the rivers and in the ocean here mm-hmm. in the Great Pacific Northwest. They do it in California. They do it in Oregon. But this week we're going to focus on the rivers because basically that's what's going on right now. Is it's steelhead season, right? Yes, it is. It's steelhead season. Um, don't ask me about the rules and regulations. <laughs> Every place is different, you know, but yeah. we're going to, we're going to focus on that today. Yeah. But before we get into that, oh yeah, we have the giveaway from last week's blank talk. Oh yeah. We were going to give away the, it's a built rod, right? Beautiful. It's a custom built rod. You didn't want to grab that. I'll grab that. Yeah. So this is the custom built one we're giving away. If you want two blanks instead of this one, it is up to the winner's discretion. Yes. But this is going to be a custom uh, pro staff team rain shadow blank. So this one is pretty special, I would say. Yeah, we it's have beautiful, the, but it's a working rod. Yeah, we have these built to give to our our ambassadors or our mm-hmm. pro staff or people that want to try it. Um, this particular one is an SP843 built as a spinning rod. Mm-hmm. It has the forecast carbon grips on there. It has the RPD seat. It's pretty cool. Oh, I'm shaky. Yeah. Too much there caffeine this morning? Too much caffeine this morning. I can't nice. help it. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and do that right here, right now. So we're we're going to give it away. We're going to go ahead. Sean, you got some numbers over there? Number 655. Number 655 is? Shh, don't do that. Say that again. Adam Clements. Adam, Adam Clements. Clements. Excellent. All right. Beautiful. Here we right. go. Let me, let so, me pull it up here. I want to pull this up here there um, go. to Adam the rod Clements. so Adam can see this if he wanted this particular rod. I don't know how close I need to be here, Holly, but um, carbon fiber split grip, Alps MVT, RPD MVT reel seat, foregrip matching winding checks. This is what we call a custom rod. This is a Team Rain Shadow SP843 built as a spinning rod. So I'm not sure if this is close enough or if we need to be closer, this is good, they say. So you can see the carbon fiber butt, custom wrap. Everything's fit and finish is amazing. Beautiful rod, Team Rain Shadow. These are not for sale. These are giveaway rods that we have built for our pro staff and our ambassadors and for special occasions, for donations and things like that. So anyways, that is the rod. So like I said, you can get this rod or you can get two blanks of your choice in the walleye series. Woohoo! Nice. Go ahead, Eden. Tell us some more. Okay, so we have another giveaway this week. Woo! Another one. I like another giveaways. Another one. We love giveaways here. So we are going to be giving away a casting salmon steelhead rod. Oh yeah. Let yes. Pull or that out. two blanks. This one is super durable. It's going to be full carbon, and it is another special edition pro staff. Yep. I'm going to stay up here close so that Sounds we can good. show the handle. And this is what we call the DSS 1025-2. It has an AF2 red butt. It has the Batson carbon grips, the finest carbon grips in the industry, fit and finish, bar none. Has the MVT seat, the only true graphite seat in the industry, double locking nuts, matching red, carbon foregrip. This is actually a split grip that we turned around and made as a foregrip, kind of a cool thing. 
and this is built into a casting rod. So this is what we're going to give away this week. Or two blanks of your choosing from the Salmon Steelhead series. Yes. Yeah. So exciting. Very exciting. Exciting. So how do you get part of the giveaway? So you can win this by liking and following any of our pages that we yep. have on social media. So yep. we have our Facebook, which you are on right now, Bats and Enterprises. Yep. We have our YouTube, which you can follow, and we will be posting this video on there as well. Yes. Um, which is going to be Bats and Enterprises as well. And then we have Instagram, which is Team Rain Shadow. Right. So with this, we will be posting this video on there. You can like it and then follow our Instagram. And any of those platforms, you mean you're entered to win. Awesome. Beautiful. Man, I like giving stuff away. People, I know they enjoy it. They've been learning a lot mm -hmm. on this show. We've been getting a lot of great feedback, pulling on blanks and yeah. different things. Like I said, we're going to have this show for a long time. we got a lot of stuff to show you guys. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to show you. Okay, before we get in, there we go. <laughs> the new cool rain shadow, if Team Rain Shadow. If you can see up here, we got a new little Woo! beautiful sticker up here. It's going to be our new logo. We are trying it out, and we would like to give the first five people who commented one of these trial stickers. It is two pieces. Not that big, though. Not this big. It's going to be an 11 inch one. Okay. It's a two piece sticker. Yep. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but if you build custom rods, it'll be easy for you. <laughs> and we will be posting an instructional video on how to put it on, yes. on YouTube. Yep. So, first five people who commented on this video, reach out to us on Facebook. They, they want to try it, they want to give us feedback. Yes. Right? Yes. Because we want the feedback, right? We, we want to know if it's too hard and if it's it not going to be too hard. If you build a fishing rod, I mean, I mean, your dexterity is good. You're, you know, all those things you should, you should be able to do it right so the first five people that comment we're going to give you an 11 inch one yep the and new it's logo. a two-part decal yes it's a two-part decal so anything else in regards to that i think that's it i think that we should move on to our custom rods excellent all right so first thing we're going to talk about today is our xst 1264 my favorite rod this is a salmon steelhead fighting machine, for Ooh. lack of a better word, right? The XST 1264 is a 10 and a half foot two piece. I use it as a float rod. Beautiful. Yeah, um, basically that's what it is. Tell me about the power and action of that rod. The action of it is a uh, faster action, moderate, like a moderate fast action. It's got lots of power. I've landed, you know, 20 pound kings in the Ooh. river with this thing. Nice. Um, all of our big steelhead come in on this, on this particular blank. Yeah. For a 10 and a half foot, you can't beat it yeah. it's rx8 material and i got one taped up here and i'm going to show you what Beautiful. it looks like bent so this is the xst 1264 if you haven't noticed we made it a little more easy friendly easy for you today yep. with our signs people commented said they couldn't see it hopefully you can see it now so let's go ahead and pull the xst 1264 yeah, let's bring it up. don't Put forget your goggles 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 <laughs> safety goggles safety goggles yeah good on you thanks i try all right, so let's grab the XST-1264. Okay. Ooh, nice so, and light. This is a high modulus RX-8 graphite. Beautiful graphite. Nice and crisp material. Gorgeous. It's a two-piece, right? Ooh. Yep. And awesome blank. This one is rated, oh, can't read with these glasses on. Uh, 10 to 17. Yeah, I fished 30 pound braid on it, but that's just me. <laughs> As long as you set your drag right, it's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put this abandon in this okay. one. Don't poke my eye out. No. All right. Okay. Is that all set for you? Yep. So you can see, it is a pretty. It's a more of a moderate fast action. It's more of a two-speed blank in the beginning. It has a nice bend in the beginning. Mm -hmm. As you pull on it, it bends farther back. You can yeah. see through the ferrule. It'll bend a little bit back into the ferrule and then stop. But this rod has a lot of power. I can pull on this rod. Ooh. That's a lot of power. You're pulling. You pull a fish that hard in the river. Yeah. It's because he's close to the boat or something. Going under the boat. Going under the going boat. Under the boat. Going under the boat. Get the net, right? <laughs> so that's the XST-1264. This is my favorite rod. Beautiful. I want to show. Hold that for a second. I built this rod. I don't know. It has a date on it. This is the rod that I fish with. This is an XST-1264. Ooh. That has caught many, many fish, and I built this back in 2007. Wow. It does say 2007. It does say right? 2007 on it, right? And cork grip, cork foregrip, it can be built a bunch of different ways. This particular one has the old GTB seat on it. Nowadays, we use the TX seat. That's before the TX seat. Um, double footers. 
through four single footers all the way out. Um, I like to stop with sevens because of the float stops and things that we use. Uh, they don't get caught up in the sevens. But anyways, that is my XST-1264. Beautiful. With my Shimano on there. Ooh. Yeah. The Calais. The Calais. It's the Calais. And I'm a righty, but I fish lefty. But anyways, different story. <laughs> yes, Jeff, question. Yeah, uh, approximately what uh, casting weight is the 1264 from the fish's boat set up? Gives you a float plus, what, five-eighths? Yeah, five-eighths ounce, you know, up to, up to an ounce. I mean, because you're not power casting these things a lot of the time. It's more of a lob cast, you know, yeah, so to, get it, to, get, to get it laid out. Yeah, so you can put quite a bit on it, right? So, yeah. Watch the, out there. You're going to hit me in the head with that. Yeah. It doesn't say the, ca oh, the casting weight on here is three-eighths to one ounce. But I've, I've cast more than that. Depending on the river conditions, how fast the water is, there's a lot of different things yeah. when fishing in the river. So that's our XST-1264. Beautiful. Let's see. Um, do we have the build guide on that? I do have the build guide on this I would love one. to see that. All right. We actually just came out with all of our new guide spacing sheets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you have not seen the new guide spacing sheets, um, go to batsandenterprises.com or to our Facebook, Facebook page. page. We also have it on our Facebook group, which yes. is guide spacing. Yeah. Uh, it's a custom rod builder's dream. There's over 3,000 members on there, and they all talk and get feedback from each other. Yep. And it is posted at the very top of that Facebook group. So if you join it, yep. um, you'll get a lot of great feedback from other people, and you'll also gain access to all of our new guide spacing blueprints, which we wanted to thank Austin Wagner. Yes, Austin Wagner. Did Shout out to job. Austin. He's been working for, with us all summer long mm -hmm. as an internship to help and does a really good job. Uh, worked with our design department and got all this stuff done. We have mm -hmm. over 550 different prints yeah. available. Now, just go to our Guide Spacing group on Facebook, our Facebook page that you are on right now. Yes. Or our website, batsandenterprises.com. Yes. Um, also yeah. rodbuilding.org too. Oh, rodbuilding.org. Rod nice. So anyways, this particular one I have, if you want to pull in here, Holly, and take a quicker, closer look, you can. But this particular one has a print and the XST1264. What I like to do, a lot of traditional style, is the rear cork, the 14-inch rear cork with the Alps Tech Touch seat, with the cork, with the cork composite. The cork composite actually um, helps the cork, becomes more durable, doesn't chip, you know, and cork on the edges sometimes they'll chip. That's why we put the cork composite on that side. This particular one has the Alps <coughs> double foots, the XTC LXN CGs with the zirconium C rings, and then the single foots all the way out, along with the little blue and the hook keeper. So that's how that particular one is made. Beautiful. VR print. And remember, just because the print says it has a 14 inch cork grip doesn't mean you can't change it. That's yeah. what's good about the custom part of it, right? Yeah. You can change it to carbon, you can change it to um, battle line, you can change it to EVA, you can change it to custom cork work where you take rings and you put stuff. I mean, Ooh, endless, possibilities. endless possibilities. Endless possibilities with custom rod building. That's why we're yeah. in this industry. And if you're watching this and you're an angler and you don't do custom fishing rods, but you're interested in some of our amazing components yes. and our blanks, yes. if you give us a call at Batson, one of our salesmen will hook you up with a rod builder in your area who specializes in what you're fishing for. Yeah, most definitely. We have resources all over the world for different rod builders so jeff you got another question yeah, we're getting a lot of comments rolling in about your shirt oh oh what beautiful shirt this is actually brand new okay this is our new logo that we have it's covered in fish <laughs> and you can it has everything from a salmon to albacore to linka to halibut to crab this is what we call our northwest special but it doesn't really Northwest, it's just a fishing pattern that we came out with, yep. with the new Batson logo on the front, the I'm team rain back. shadow, and uh, we put this on the sleeve here so when you're holding the fish, you can <laughs> see the team rain shadow when you're holding that, that trophy fish for the picture before you release or before you bunk it. 
and then you got your logos and then on the back batson the best fishing rods start here right so this is our new shirt yes we have them on order and they will be for sale soon and you can pre-order them right now if you send an email at build to fish at batsonenterprises.com so it's going to be build the number two fish at batsonenterprises.com you send us an email we will hook you up they are 49.95 it's a good deal for a nice and shirt. They are wonderful sweat slicking sun shirts. The yes. material is really yeah. high quality. Yes. And um, Jeff put a lot of hard work into yes. these and they turned out amazing and we're super proud of them. Yep. So this is the first one prototype. Boss gets to wear it, <laughs> obviously. Probably just for the day. Somebody else is going to take it from me, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll get mine in the long run. There you go. <laughs> so yes, be looking for the new shirts. Mm -hmm. Like Eden said, if you want to uh, email, pre-order. Pre we're going to have pre-orders done, but we will be ordering these and be selling these. And they're also up on our Build 2 Fish website, and it has information how to pre-order them on there as well. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah, so if you want good. to see photos, a little bit more information about it. Good. We have good. information on it. Excellent. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay. Shall we move on? Any other things, questions or anything, Jeff? You got something? Anything? Oh, just on the, on the prints again. Uh, yes. Gonna... I did that. Oh, nice. Yep. All right. Yep. Yeah, most oh. definitely. So... Um, another great model for a float rod is the XST 1263, mm -hmm. you know, for the salmon, a little bit lighter, a little more forgiving. Yeah. Sometimes a four, like me, guys like me, I like to pull hard. Sometimes he likes to break stuff. <laughs> and it's not, it's not necessarily breaking. It's more like <laughs> pulling hooks. Yeah. So the XST 1263 sometimes. Yeah. Yep. So. Beautiful. Oh, oh. What, what does that mean? That's our giveaway bell. Oh, nice. Whoop, whoop. We're, We're giving away stuff. We're giving away stuff. We're going to do the same thing we did last week where we do giveaways throughout the entire episode. Uh -huh. um, so they're going to throw me. Oh, what oh, is it? Oh, oh, whoop, oh. Whoop. oh careful for <laughs> the rods. Nice catch, though. Thank you. What is it? So this is one of our rod socks. You want to take it out of there? Oh, Bill Betts. <laughs> Voila, the rod sock. So this particular one is, oh, looks like it's seven foot long. Nice. So this one says? Team Rain Shadow, Team Rain Shadow. Course. And it goes over a rod, right? Like, yep. blah, blah, blah. Let me show what it would look like. It wouldn't work on that one, but let's just take the tip section of this one here. And rod socks, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Goes over your rod, right? <laughs> Beautiful. And it's like a Chinese finger thing. So if you if you get to a big guide, you bring it together oh, like that, it'll, and it'll go over, and then it, it'll snug it up. There you go. And these particular ones, what I like about these, they have a little hook, so you can hook it if you want to hook your rods to your wall. Oh, that's nice. Kind of different, isn't that it? That is nice. Yeah. It's got so, Team Rain Shadow on it. So yes. who Anyways. is this giveaway going to? Chuck Chuck, Chuck Riley. Riley. Nice. Send us a message on our Facebook page and get we'll get your address and send that out to you. Yep. Send that right out Woo! to you, Chuck. Thank you very much. Giveaways. Giveaways. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Let's look. Let's do another blank. Okay. All right. So you next okay? thing. Yep. Next thing we're going to do. So we did the 10 and a half footer. We're going to go to a nine and a half footer. A lot of rivers. 10 and a half is a lot, a lot of rod. Mm -hmm. So we'll drop down to the nine and a half footers. Okay. We have so many blanks to choose from. Just These are just particular ones that I like to fish with mm -hmm. or that are some of our more popular ones. So we're going to talk about the nine and a half footer. We got a lot of blanks picked out for today. Yep. <laughs> and we're going to drop down in materials to an RX-7 instead Beautiful. of an RX-8. So this particular blank is the RS REVST 96M. Okay. I remember it as the 1144 uh -huh. just because. We did change some of our part numbers mm -hmm. to move them into the Revelation series. Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways. Yeah. So this so is. Is this the same carbon? No, this no. is this is a graphite rod. Graphite. But in an RX-7 instead of an RX-8. One step down mm. in modulus material. Okay. A little more durable, you know, mm -hmm. that's about it. Less sensitive, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, as you move down to materials, less sensitivity, more durability. Yeah. There's a trade-off, right? In anything you do, there's a trade-off. So, so what's the action on this one? This is going to have basically the same action, but at a nine and a, nine and a half. Beautiful. So basically same power, same actions, um, but at nine and a half. Different material, you'll be able to see it. This one is in satin black. Oh, let me grab my glasses real quick. Where'd mine go? Oh, wait. You're on your head. Right there next to the van. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this on here so you can see. Beautiful. And this is 
a, this is one of my favorite rods for the little smaller rivers. You know, it's pretty quick. You can see it's pretty quick, right? And as you pull on it, it has power. It pulls through the blank. Ooh. It's got plenty of power. Yeah. We're pulling on it. That's got a lot of power next to the boat. You know, usually you're not going to pull that hard, mm -hmm. but you know, that's got plenty of power. You can yeah. see it. Rawr, 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 you're not going to break that thing. Uh, no. It's, well, I could if I wanted to, <laughs> but Ooh. it'd be tough, right? He says. <laughs> so that is the nine and a half version. Yeah. At a different modulus graphite. Beautiful. Also use it as a float rod. You can use it as a spinning rod if you wanted to throw spinners with it yeah. you could dredge a little bit with it a bunch of different techniques that we use up here in the great northwest which are used all over the world if you're catching salmon i'm sure same thing you know carrie and i fished the cataragus river up in in new york to you know michigan to northern california to you oregon to well a lot of research and development yes uh-huh a lot of research and development how do we make our product lines better question Yes, both of these are great for bank fishing. Mm -hmm. Ten and a half footer, nine and a half footer, eight and a half footer, or um, this can be anything here can be used in a boat or on a bank. Beautiful. You know, depending on the techniques. If you're plunking, it'd be a different thing. But if you're float fishing or dredging or throwing spinners, any one of these blanks is great for bank fishing. Beautiful. I kind of yeah. want to see a drift. A drift? Yep. A drift rod is more of an eight and a half foot, uh -huh. you know, so we'll get to that in a second. Oh, okay. We'll get that in a second. Another really popular thing right now. Any questions in regards to that nine and a half footer? It's got some good power. One of my favorites. Um, I know the 1143 is also another very popular one, mm -hmm. which the model number would be the REVST 96 ML now. Changing of part numbers, but 1143s, 1142s for a side drifting rod out of a boat, on the cowlets, and places like that. So many things. But we're here just to show off a couple of them today. There we go. All right. Any questions in regards to that? Anybody's got anything? Yes, Jeff. Yeah, one guy was asking if the, um, is the RX-7 more powerful than the RX-8, or is it just more durable? Just more durable. Really not more powerful. I wouldn't put change the power on them, personally. Mm -hmm. Just more durable um, and not, maybe not as sensitive. I would feel more of a tick, tick, tick um, on, that. On, on gravel mm -hmm. on the RX-8 than I would on the RX-7. Not that you wouldn't feel it on the RX-7. You're yeah. still going to feel it on the RX-7 as far as I'm concerned. Um, just a little bit more sensitive. A little more sensitive. Just a little bit. RX-8, RX-7 graphite materials. Beautiful. Yep. And different colors too, by the way. Any, any other questions, Jeff? Or anybody have any comments? We're looking good. All right, we're just going to keep moving forward. All right. Beautiful. So next thing, maybe we'll jump. Maybe we should do the... the I want to see a drift. You want to see the Hot Shot series? Yeah, I want to see the Hot Shot. All right, so we're going we're gonna to go to the Hot Shot series. I consider myself a Hot Shot, too. Yeah, you are. <laughs> All right, so we're going to jump to the Hot Shot series. All right, so this is REV HSHS Hot Shot. Everybody remembers these blanks. They've been around for 25 years. Gary Loomis back in the day had the 9000, 9001. We still have similar models. Great for pulling plugs, hot shots. The like hot shots are a type of plug. Yep. Um, but they can use for a lot of different things. Yeah. So let's show that action. So it's a medium heavy plug slash drift rod for salmon and steelheads. That's the one hanging. Oh, this is the one I got hanging. Oh. Yep. So you can see hot shots have a tendency to have extra fast actions. Mm hmm. You know, I know some people even take some of those hot shot actions because they're so fast for drop shotting for yeah. bass and all kind of different things, right? Really sensitive. Get maximum plug action with that. Yes. Yeah. Really nice tip. You know, you can really see that. Seven, six, okay, perfect. I'll show that seven six here in a minute. Um, but you can see this is the eight foot six hot shot action. Beautiful. Right? Yeah. Um, it's pretty quick. It's uh, this is actually a two piece version. We have one piece versions also. Yeah. You barely, barely can see that in the band. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. Can you imagine a plug on the end of there? Oh, yeah. So thinking that's that plug, right? Yeah. How, how nice that tip is moving and everything. It lets you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's perfect. It's a beautiful action rod. Um, I'm going to pull out the other one. I've been getting asked about how we tape. Oh! You know, so what we're doing is we're taping those tips so we can hook it up to our load cell. Yeah. So, Holly, if you want to come in, I'm going to give a quick show on how we're doing this tape 
a demonstration. Beautiful. Yeah. Our engineering team kind of came up with this a couple of years ago, and we've been using it ever since to test them on load cells. So. Yes, yes. This is this is done by my engineering team. So we're taking this reinforced packing tape. Yeah, reinforced shipping tape. It is shipping tape. Let me go to this side so you guys can see. Sorry about that. And what we're doing is we're coming in at a 45 degree angle like this. And we are wrapping up the tip like this. Can you see what I'm doing? And once we get about there, we are folding this tape in half like this to make the loop. Then we're coming back down it. In the other direction. In the other direction and wrapping it this way up the blank again right and we're making this loop right so we're using that tape like that it might not be the best version of it but this is basically you can see it's not going to pull and we can test so mm -hmm. that's what we're doing here with this uh, hopefully that was a good representation of what i did so everybody can see and Packing tape. It kind of creates a Chinese finger trap effect with the reinforced shipping tape. Yes. Yeah, so it yeah. grips onto that rod. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, there Thank we you. go. Thank you. And that was a great uh, analogy there for the. So you can see my loop. So go ahead. Beautiful. And, yeah. Let's test it. Yeah, so this is our. Oh, this is our Judge Crankbait 710M. I grabbed the wrong one, Jeff. Sorry. This is, this is our twitching rod. It's another technique that we use here in the great northwest people use it in a lot of different areas yeah i've used it for redfish people use it for other types of fishing too where coho, yeah, yeah. yeah we're using it for coho here in the rivers um, coho love it the kings love it i mean it's just a something jumping out in front of them they just attack it yeah right? is this a mod fast this is a mod fast um this is the judge crankbait 710m this is what i use for my the twitching my twitching <laughs> Cheat him. I probably do that while I'm doing it. <laughs> Why are you throwing that thing? You crazy. Keep my goggles These on. These are my glasses. On my head. All right, so we're going to show this one. Sorry, folks. Okay. Eden's out of hand. I'm always out of hand. You're getting out of hand, Eden. <laughs> this is our judge. I'm sorry. Talk about this again. This is our judge. This is our twitching for silvers and kings. Mm -hmm. This is a made in USA blank. Ooh. Beautiful. It has Beautiful. the carbon 12 wrap on the yeah. back end of it about this far up. This is my, I think, biased opinion probably, the finest crankbait blank ever made in the United States. Um, yeah, we sell a ton of them. This is the judge. The Everything judge. else will be judged by this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pull on it. Let's see. Maybe reload that load cell so I can pull some on here. We can tell them how much power we're actually yeah. pulling on this. I can't tell you I'll be able to read it or not. But. And I hope my tape job holds. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stand far away yeah. from your tape. All right. All right, we'll wait for Holly to get back in here with the camera. So, um, Holly, this is... Yeah, some interest in the load cell. So oh, okay. Close you wanna get a close up of cell. that load cell, right? And what we're doing is we're pull, as we pull on this, you can see the load cell as loads up and moves. As I pull on this particular blank, that's a lot of pull on that blank. And you can see that is our load cell. Do we want to do that again so they can see how the rod moves? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'll wait for Holly to get back into position here. Beautiful. And my tape held too. It did. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you did a you. good tape job. I did a good <laughs> tape job. All right. So the tape held. Let's do that okay. again so you can see actually see the bend. And this is a Judge 710 Beautiful. JDG. CB. That was four pounds. All right, reset it. Let's try again. All right. So as you can see, it's a, it's kind of quick, but it's, it has, as you can see, when it bends through here, it has more of a crankbait actions mm -hmm. to it. You know, bends through. And this is our Batson proprietary S-Glass with the graphite blends. And as I pull, you can see, oh, yeah. See how it bends farther and farther back? And I'll get closer. You can see yeah. how forgiving the blank is. This 100%. is a very strong blank. You can see I'll two hand this thing and Woo! give it a little more power, right? And it's amazing blank. Anyways, mm -hmm. awesome blank. Beautiful. And we use this for twitching. This is a twitcher blank. But also, you I also- Eight pounds of pressure on there. Eight pounds of pressure. That's a lot on a little blank. Yeah, it is. That's a lot on this little blank. Great little rod. What's that diameter look like? Very small. It has a small diameter. 
you know. Yeah. It has nice small diameters. Another twitching blank that I would use is the REVIP series, seven six or eight foot, medium heavy, or the IMMPs. Yeah. Is another good one. The seven six medium heavy is another great blank for twitching or twi twitching applications here for our. But I mean, I've I've used those same blanks for lack of a better word, twitching for redfish. Cool. You know, and yeah. things like that in the salt water. Mm -hmm. You know, twitch, twitch, bouncing it off the bottom in shallow water, you know, with a artificial looking shrimp or something like that. Pop, 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 pop. Basically the same thing, but so it's a twitching rod. Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Also, right. we see that you guys are asking a bunch of questions. If you stay until the end, we're going to be doing a Q and A. Yes. Uh, where we're just going to be answering your questions. Yeah, so we're going to do a end of the thing Q&A, but also at the same time we've, you know, 500 questions or 500 comments. Yeah. We usually get back to it today and tomorrow, Jeff and I and everything. Yes, Jeff, question. Uh, is there a longer version of the judge? Have to go to live bait? No, no, there's nothing longer in that series. You would have to go to a live bait. Mm -hmm. Live bait is a totally different animal as far as I'm concerned. But as far as those actions, that's the 710 is the longest one you can get. Mm -hmm. We do have the judge in the saltwater live bait series, and those go from 7 to 8 to 810. And those are amazing blanks also. We will be covering that in future episodes. Yes, we um, will. Most definitely. That is a very popular blank. I love the judge series in a live bait, along with the crankbaits. Oh, oh looks giveaway. Looks like we got another giveaway. What are we giving away? All right. Ooh. Whoops. I had your back. <laughs> I had your back up. This is one of our Team Rain Shadow Gators. Yes. You can't really see. We yeah, see the so RS right there. Yeah. And then we have our Build the Fish sticker in there. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. That Holly, who cool. won this? Do, 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 I need a name. Mike Thompson. Mike, Mike Thompson. Thompson. All right, okay. Mike. You tell him what he needs to do. on Facebook. We will get back to you, get your shipping address, and send this out to you probably today. Today? today. Well, that's pretty I mean, quick. I'll try. Yeah, you will. I know you do something around here. I, who knows? <laughs> We're not real sure what she does around here yet, but she does something. <laughs> Chipping out hundreds of catalogs. Over yeah, there. I do see that. You do yeah. stack those catalogs, right? Yes, I do. Speaking right. of, where is our catalog? I don't know. Hey, Sean, can you give me a catalog, please? All right, thank you. What's nice about being in the warehouse, everybody's kind of here working if they need something on the other side they go around the back end you know so it's kind of cool they don't just walk out in front of us right okay since we took a quick break from showing you blanks i'm going to show you our beautiful catalog yes gorgeous we work on these every year something new every year and they are the best catalog in the business oh yeah without a doubt without it's a doubt most gorgeous. comprehensive largest product line yeah. catalog in the industry we yeah. uh are honored to bring this to you guys so this is yep. going to be on our website, batsandenterprises.com, under catalog. We have a PDF version online that you can flip through on your computer, or you can fill out an order form with your address, and we will send one to you for free. Yep. Yep. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's move on. Let's Any move questions on. or anything you want to talk about real quick, Jeff? Go ahead. Um, center pin question from Ken. Okay. Uh, what reels do we prefer on center oh, pin? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's so many different reels to choose from. Obviously, the Islander is probably one of the more popular ones um they're made in canada you can see this what the thing about <laughs> pinner reels is that thing will continue to spin it's got amazing bearings in it um there's other ones on the market i know carrie has his preference if you want to email us we might be able to get you some more um, different people that make pinner reels right so let yeah, me see that other rod here i want to say something out real quick while you got the camera close keep it close this is a custom uh, center pin rod built by Koi Vu, a gentleman in Oregon. Does a beautiful wrap. He built this for the Batson collection um, with the Batson carbon grips. It has the weighted butt cap. It has the, the soft touch RPD reel seat, which has a, like a rubber coating. The Batson carbon grip, beautiful wrap. And these are all four piece rods. And this particular builder is Koi Vu. I give a shout out to him. He did a beautiful job mm, on this rod. Absolutely gorgeous. He's got some beautiful razor wire in there, and he is a custom builder. Gorgeous. Yeah. So I give give him a shout out. Yeah. We're talking about that, you know. Beautiful. Okay. All right. 
So let's let's talk about the center pins then. Yeah, yeah perfect time. Yep. Yeah. So we always joke that center pin is for people who think it's too easy to catch fish normally. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's a challenge. It is much more of a challenge. It's, it's similar to the challenge of fly fishing over gear fishing. Mm -hmm. um, getting very popular these days. Yes. People love it. It's a whole different technique. I know Carrie and, and Phil Gray and Roger Ross and a lot of these guys have been doing it for quite a few years. Yeah. I mean, it's a, the Canadian, it's a more of a Canadian style fishing that we've adopted to this side a little bit. And um, taking it to the next level. Yeah. Bead fishing, you know, it's, a, it's another form of float fishing. Um, the whole casting and all that is, it's a challenge, yeah. right? I own a couple of rods. As you can see, I own a nice Islander, but if you look real closely, there's no line on it because I've never actually done it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about our, we have a center line series, all yes. right? And it is a four piece series. Oh, which is in the catalog. Yes, which is in the catalog. Let me pull it up real quick. Sorry about that, folks. I should have had this done. I'm sure I will get scolded later for not having my pages <laughs> marked. Page 25 of the catalog. Immortal series. The Immortal series. We have an 11, 11 and a, two 11 and a halves and two 13 footers. And we have an 11 and a half two piece, two 11 and a half two piece, one 13 foot two piece and one 14 foot four piece and 11 four piece. Well, anyways, Whew. page 25 of the catalog. Page 25. Tell me more about them. What sure. are they made out of? What's the power? What's the so action? So these are RX-8 graphite. Beautiful. It's our high modulus. They're in mm -hmm. the beautiful titanium chrome, you know, um, different actions for different techniques. Beautiful. For like the IMMCP 116M is ideal for float, float beads and jig steel hiding. Yeah. So uh, just different techniques, different ways to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and pull on one so you can see it, what the actions are. All right. So here it is. Ooh, yeah. This, this one's got some length to it, right? Whew. Yeah. So this is our 11.6, right? And this one is actually a two-piece, you know? Some people like two-piece. Some people like four-piece. Easier to travel with. Obviously, don't want to travel with a one-piece 11.6. It's really yeah. tough. Right, so these are very popular. Mm -hmm. New York, a lot of different areas. Yes, Jeff, question. Oh, Todd Dobrowski's chiming in. He says he loves the 13 footers. Uh, yeah. Todd, yeah. hi. Hey, Todd. Yeah, 13 footers are very popular. Todd is up in Michigan. A lot mm -hmm. of people do this in Michigan, um, all over the place. Like I said, I think Carrie and I did it on the Cataragus River back in New York. And you Some didn't years take back. me? No, this was, this was B.E. B.E.? Yeah. Before Eden. <laughs> Before Eden, <laughs> right? Um, went out and caught 100 steelhead in two days. It was just phenomenal fishing. Nice. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, float with egg sacs and just, it was just phenomenal. Anyways, so let's pull on this thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, because these, these have more of the moderate fast actions. Yeah. It bends through it, and it's kind of like a fly rod where... The rod, the, the action of the rod takes some of the brunt of the fish. Yeah. So you can use lighter lines and things like that to fish with it. So let's go ahead and pull on this thing. We might, I might need to be in the next Ooh. county. Let me put my glasses on first. Yeah, I was going to say, you almost poked my eye out. Can you thing. slide that down a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I think I might. Just oh, a little bit. I'm very sore. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right. Let's, is that, let's is try that far this. back enough? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna know here in a second. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they build these with shorter rear grips too, so we're going to okay, go ahead. Let me zero this out. Yeah, zero it out. Yeah. These rods are really not made for power, more finesse. Ooh. Right, so let's go ahead and pull on. As you can see, it has like a fly rod bend. It's more of a moderate fast action, yeah. You can see where it shuts off when I push the rod forward, right? But if I'm going to lift on it, you can see it bend all the way through the mm -hmm. ferrule. What's nice about these is our slim ferrule designs. There's not many flat spots in the ferrule mm -hmm. areas, and I can lift. And I'm, I have, sometimes you have to turn those fish. Watch yourself, Eden. Ooh. I'm turning that fish. <laughs> you know, you can it's see as, you, as you're fighting fish, sometimes you have to turn your rod right or left, and you can use this length to turn fish and the power of the rod. So Gorgeous. Yes. Boy, just chimed in. Hey, nice. Nice. Did he get my plug? I don't know. He says the 11-foot model handles uh, big fish pretty well. Handles big fish pretty well. Excellent. Thank you, Koi. If you weren't on earlier, I did show that rod that you built for me, by the way. Thanks again. It's a beautiful piece. You want to grab it again so we can 
Yep, this is the one that Koi built for me with the carbon grip and everything. So it's good to have Koi out there watching. Like I said, he's a great builder. You can find him, I'm sure, on Facebook. Good fisherman also. If you look through the comments, you can find him too. Yeah, you can probably kind of get him through the comments. <laughs> okay. So so that is the center pin. Center pin is becoming more and more popular. More and mm -hmm. more people are doing it. So if like guys like me that have every single rod in the in the world, in the world. <laughs> and and want something new, mm -hmm. center pin is something cool to try. Yeah. You know, I'm sure uh, Koi would tell you what he thinks about different um, center pin reels, like I said, and if you have any questions, you can call and ask us also. But so that's the center pin. Beautiful. So basically, we're we're covering, like I said, more freshwater salmon mm -hmm. steelhead today. Um, but there's one model that kind of crosses over to both, right? Yep. And I'm just I'm just going to show it just for the heck of it. And it's not even in a salmon steelhead series. So the just, Columbia one. Yeah, the Columbia rod. Right? Columbia rod. A lot of people fish kings on the Columbia. They use dropper loops with big wobblers, and they say, Bill, you know, your BP-1266 isn't, still isn't enough rod for some of the stuff that we're doing. It's basically saltwater. Yeah, it's basically a saltwater <laughs> rod, right? But those kings are coming in, you know, the big June hogs and things like that. You know, yeah. they're coming in, and people want to catch those things. Um, so I wanted to show a different blank. Let's see one of those. So this one is a surf rod, actually. It's a... Old school, SU-1264. Also our most popular catfish rod. Oh. Yeah, also a very popular catfish right, rod right now. We sell a ton of these in Ohio and different places like that. Um, Asher Custom Rods, you know, he, buddy of mine who builds out there, builds a lot of these mm -hmm. for catfish. Beautiful. But this is a 10 and a half foot. One and a half to two and a half ounce, 15 to 20. But this rod right here, guys are putting eight ounce droppers on them. And yeah, up, up to 20 ounce droppers on them with these big brads, wobblers, and a lot of different things. And they're just dropping them back. So you're not casting. This, when I say weights, that's casting weight where you're power casting. This mm -hmm. is not power casting. These are, they're dropping these back behind the boat. And this particular one is an SU-1264. Great all around surf rod. It's been in our lineup Shoot. forever. forever. <laughs> yeah, we actually got rid of it for a year or two and some, some, so many people said, no, 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 bring it back that we brought it back. This one, it's in its own section. It says surf and it's with the 1418, two very popular models that we'll never get rid of just yeah. because too many people want them. And you can cross over to too many different things. So this one, I'm gonna pull on this one Beautiful. so you can Don't see. Goggles. Yeah, and it, has more of the moderate surf action. Make sure we got it tied in here. Okay, let me zero this out. Yep. Okay, let's see the power behind this All thing. Right. So let's this see the thing, backbone. Back up, Eden. Whew. Yeah. So we're gonna, you can see, it's more of a moderate fast action. It does have good action there, but as you pull back, the power pulls back like a two-speed blank, and I can pull with this one, and it's got lots of power. Woo! You know, and I'm, you know, this is, Pulling hard. Yeah. I'm, I'm pulling this You're thing. Fighting right? that fish. Yep, yeah, you can see it shaking. Ooh, I got a double hander, right? <laughs> not not way up here though. No. I gotta keep it here, right? When you pull wow. and you pull. Oh yeah. And this is it. So I just wanted to show that one because people forget about different things. Just mm -hmm. because it says surf blank doesn't mean you have to fish surf with it. You can yeah. take it for different things. A lot of applications on all these rods. Yeah, on any blank that we have, you can switch it around. Mm -hmm. I know guys that were taking spay blanks in the beginning and make center pins out of them and cutting and pasting. And I know Carrie does a lot of different things for people. Right now, the big thing is we can't fish out of a boat. So they're taking the 1263s and they're extending the 1263. This is all custom stuff that you can do. Yeah. But that's why we're in a custom, custom rod. That's the custom rod, right? Mm -hmm. So those are the blanks I wanted to show what today. What was that built for? Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and show this. Back to the center pin stuff. Oh. Thank you. Yep. Uh, one more comment on the 1264. Yes. Kevin's got a bunch of white ones right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Kevin's got that in white. Get Bit? Yes. Get Bit has a bunch of white blanks. Yeah. That's awesome. And, you know, a lot of our dealers do different things. So this particular print right here is done in cork, as you can see. They have shorter rear grips than most applications. Um, spinning reel seat, foregrip. This particular one 
is done with a triangle Alps with the inleted cork. And this is actually a full well fly grip that we incorporated as a foregrip. So many different things you can do with this types of series. I mean, I know the carbon is obviously very popular. I like the carbon. Right. And this one also has an inlet or you could use that as your foregrip. You know, so so many different things you can do. You can make split grips if you wanted to do split grips. Um, but Batson Carbon is the finest carbon in the industry. Bar none, fit and finish. Everything else is judged by us. <laughs> and that's that. Beautiful. And this particular one has the Batson designed fist scale wind grips mm. with the spin seat with the wind grip. It's actually spun around, make it as a foregrip. Yeah. So, so many things you can do. That's the custom market. Yeah. That's why we're in the custom market. Mm -hmm. Because Beautiful. you want that rod to do exactly what you want. You want it to look like you want it to look, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Um, those are on Guide Spacing, the Facebook group. They're also on uh, Rod, what is it? The dot .org? Our dot .org? Rodbuilding.org. Rodbuilding.org yep. and BatsonEnterprises.com if you want any of these build sheets. Yep. Yes, Brent. Jeff. Yep. Uh, Chris Ward just gave a shout out. Hey, Chris. How much he loves this whole concept because he can just look at actions from his Perfect. home. Perfect. You know? Yes. Beautiful. That's the whole idea, you know. So we're not at shows and I can't, we can't do our song and dance at shows and show all the blanks and everything that we're doing. So we had to come up with another idea. Yeah. I think we did pretty okay. High fives. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. And then on the carbon, uh, Kevin yeah. Belair, uh, one of our customers. Okay, yes. He wanted to know uh, if we leave carbon raw or do we coat them on something like carbon I personally like them raw. Yeah. You know, you can put a light coat over. Some people put a heavy coat over. I don't like the the finish over the top because I feel it makes it a little slippery. Mm -hmm. This has more texture You'll and more to feel to it. That's just my personal opinion. I'm just another rod builder. Mm -hmm. So take it, take it as you want. But I like it raw. Yeah. Yep. I think it looks nice. Um, okay, so we followed that. Like I said, this is just our salmon steel for the rivers. Couple of techniques, couple of different models. If you go to the catalog, you'll see we're salmon steelhead heavy. Yep. Because we live in the Great Northwest. The Great Northwest. Yep. So, <laughs> anyways, All right? Ding, 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 ding. Oh, we got another giveaway. Oh, my oh. goodness. That had some force behind oh, wow. it. Wow. Okay. I'm glad you're catching today. I need to poke an I, eye out. I thought my hand eye coordination was really bad, but I think after all these tests, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I sure okay. hope so. So oh. this is a one-off wow. new edition with our new logo, oh. women's pink team rain shadow hat. So this would have to go to a woman. So let's <laughs> find the first woman or the last woman that commented. The, the first, first woman, woman that, commented, that comments will receive this we new. We want to show our appreciation. Yes, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Go on, so, I'm listening. Who is, who is getting this? I don't know. Holly's going to let us know. We have to have some women comment. Somebody. It's a hot ticket. Come on, let's see, Come on, women. Let's see. Who is out there? All you have to say is hi. Carrie Sherwood Costa. All Carrie right. Carrie Sherwood Costa, send us a Facebook message and Carrie you will Sherwood get this Costa. beautiful one off special edition yes. Team Rain Shadow hat with our new hook logo. I think she is from Texas. I think um, there's no everyone around here. She's a friend of Lori Baird. No. Oh. Lori Heath. Heath. Pro yes. staff. Yep. All beautiful. right. Beautiful. Okay, we are going to move into our QA portion. Woo. Good. Uh, we showed you a lot of rods today. We did show a lot of rods today. Yeah. And hopefully people get what we're doing here. Yeah. And we're going to continue to do this. So keep asking the questions. Keep giving us advice. Keep giving us things that you want to see. Yeah. Right? Because that's mean, what drives the show. We're getting better every week just because you guys are letting us know what you want to see. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. All right. Okay. So that's that. That's that. Um, do we want to answer some steelhead salmon questions first or do we want to... If we have anything, we're going to leave that up to Jeff. Jeff, where do you want to go from here, Jeff? The man behind the curtain. Whoa. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Still waiting for some questions to come in. Beautiful. Okay. Show them that light plug rod over there. Ooh, light plug rod. Let's oh. see. Yeah. We can do that. Nothing. Yeah. So this... <laughs> This particular one, like I was talking earlier, the HS series, a lot of folks know the Hot Shot series, the 9000, 9001, the 930, the 931, the 932s. Those are all old um, Gary numbers back in the day. Um, this particular one is a very popular blank. Oh man, this thing is so fast. It scares me. I, I tell people, be careful when you fish this rod. You can't make mistakes with this rod, mm. right? 
Fast action rods, you make a mistake, you're going to blow it up. I don't care whose it is or what it is. Yeah. So, um, it's the price of the bend. It's the, it's the price of the bend. Exactly. So I tell people, put this only in the hands of experienced fishermen. Yeah. So, but anyways. Yeah. Okay we'll, okay, we'll get to the dipsy here in a I minute. I can hold that. Let me, let me put this on the side. Oh, Let's bend this not. one first, though. It's okay, Jeff. It's okay. So I'm going to show what the fast action hot shot looks like. Okay, uh, goggles. Uh, yes, goggles. Goggles. Uh, uh, not that these are going to break, but, you know, it's just always better safe than sorry. Right, Mom? <laughs> mom? Yeah, my mom used to say that. Oh, uh, I thought my, you were talking to me. I'm like, no. And my wife. Wrong. No, I'm, <laughs> hopefully my mom's watching, right? So you can see how fast that is. Can you see that, Holly? Can How fast that, that is? Is that are those boards in the way? Closer. I want I want to show what a, a fast action rod looks like. <laughs> Oops, hook that back up for me. Oh. All right. So when I say fast action, this is what I mean by fast action. See how quick Just it shuts dips. off? Boom. Right. That is a fast action rod for pulling plugs and things like that. You know, this rod will look really nice with the lure on the end when it's shaking like that. Right. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see it, and it keeps. Keeps tension on the line and everything, right? Right, boom. That's a fast action rod. And as you pull, it bottoms out pretty quick. Like there's not a lot there, right? Mm -hmm. So you're just fighting the fish on drag, but the action and the quick set power, boom, right there. Yeah. That's what people use fast action rods for. Anyways, thank you, Beautiful. Holly. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's your fast action rod. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay, so what was that question that we got? Sorry, about? Jeff. Dipsy Diver, what, what do you say? Dipsy divers. Yeah, so this is the 108. So these are your outriggers, right? So we make them in different lengths. So this is what you would put on the piece. Yeah, outside. And then as you move in, you would have a nine footer. And as you move in, as you'd have an eight footer. And as you move it in, you'd have so different lengths, right? But this is our dipsy diver, diver, dipsy diver rod. <laughs> Easy for me to say, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. So this is our 10 footer. This is rated 15 to 40. Great rod. This is a glass rod. It's a two-piecer. Yeah. Boom. Go ahead and grab that tip. I'll show. Oh, you don't want to tape it? No, we're not doing oh, tape. My arms are sore. Too bad. Okay, remember, steelhead. I just, safe word for this week. Steelhead's a safe word for this week. Okay. Now, back up. Back up. All right, so you're going to see this particular rod has a lot of action to it. So um, has a lot of glass in it. Bends. This is a great dipsy diver rod. It, it'll handle a lot of weight. You know, and then when the dipsy diver unclips um, with the bend in it, it'll keep that fish hooked. Kind of the same concept as a downrigger blanks. And I'll show you that when we start talking saltwater salmon. But yeah. anyways, this is your dipsy diver. And this has got plenty of power. You can't keep pulling like that or I'm going to get still <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get her to say it, but she wouldn't. So that's a dipsy diver rod. This is the RDR 100H. People forget about this rod. Yeah. And, and Nick wanted to know, what was the fast one that we just had out before that? That's the HS Hot Shot 9001. Did, did we rename that blank? That one, yeah. Yeah. So in the catalog, let's take a look, see if I can find it real quick. Hot Shot. Yep, I know. And that is a REV HS 76ML. Revelation. Yep. So it's a seven foot, six inch, one piece, eight to 15, one quarter to three quarter, extra fast with a 4.5 tip. Ooh. If you're a rod builder, a 4.5 tip, you know we're, get, we're getting down there, getting small. It's on page 41 of our catalog. 41 of the new Batson Master Catalog. Yes. On the 10 footer we just showed, the yes. last one, what's the weight rating on that one? The 10 footer. Weight as in, po uh, yeah, like. I think it's rated 15 to 40. Wow. It's a monster, a though. I know guys are fishing 65 on it, you know, but, yeah, you're not going to, you have to really make a mistake to break a rod like that. Yeah. You know, stick it in the motor or slam it in the car door. <laughs> or, I think you can handle being run over. No. Can't, can't <laughs> run, that's not one you can run over. We'll show those the kind you can run over later. You know, oh. someday we do have those, those, those blanks. They're called solid glass. Solid glass. <laughs> yeah. All right. Question. Okay, wait, I got it. Italo. 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 <laughs> I said it right this week. Are you proud of me? Yes, I am. 
Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, we just wanted to remind everyone because we are still getting questions about this shirt that you can pre order our new Team Rain Shadow Northwest shirt at Build Two Fish at batsandenterprises.com. It's Build the Number Two Fish at batsandenterprises.com. It says right on the back, Batson. If you send us an email on there, you can pre order this shirt. Amazing, brand new, and they will be coming out in March. March. Get them while they are still in. If you pre-order, you get a higher chance of getting them before they're sold out. Yeah, because they're going to sell out quick. You know, yes. I'm going to buy as many as I can in the beginning, but seems like there's always a size that goes out, yep. and you know, they go pretty quick. You know, me, I'll probably end up giving away. Oh yeah, throwing <laughs> it. He's like Oprah. You get one. You get one. <laughs> oh, don't compare me to Oprah. You're like the Sorry. Oprah of fishing. <laughs> It's a, a light saltwater troll for. That's our most popular light saltwater troll. Yeah. Did he give a length? He didn't. Yeah, it's probably if Italo's. I think ten and a half might be too long for what Italo is doing, because I was with him one day and we were we were in Italy. Yes. We were trolling some live mullet around, Ooh. trying to catch. Was that when Mom was at the spa? Yeah, Mom was at the spa. I was in fishing with Italo. <laughs> But I don't think this is the length. But anyways, this is a BP 1440, uh, 1264, yeah. which is a great um, saltwater rod. Yeah. Um, but, but we'll talk about that one later. But I think Italo wants something in a little shorter. Beautiful. But we'll talk about that, Italo. All right. Beautiful. So. Okay, so I'm going to remind you guys about our giveaway that we are doing this week. We have that full built casting salmon steelhead rod. Yes. Uh, custom made for our pro staff. It's an amazing, durable rod um, that is fully built. Or if you win, you can choose to opt out of that and get two blanks. Yes. If you are a custom rod builder and you want to build your own on one of the blanks that we showed you today. Excellent. And to enter into that, you are going to be liking and following all of our pages. So we have Instagram, which is Team Rain Shadow. Uh -huh. You're, it's going to be Facebook, which is Bats and Enterprises, which you are on right now. Yep. And then we have YouTube, which is Bats and Enterprises. If you just type it in that search bar, we will show up. So you can like this video on all of our platforms and then follow our platforms and you will be entered to win those rods, which... Right, right. I want to say something. Yes. The preface of this whole show is not to sell things or give away things. It's to share information and our yes. passion for the industry, right? Yes. The other stuff is just bonus that we do. I mean, just because that's what we do, right? Yeah. I mean, yes, we want you to be part of our family. We want you to feel comfortable with the products you buy from Batson Enterprises. Yes. And that is my main motivation for doing this, is to share the life and the passion and the art and the craft of rod building. Yep. And I think that's why our business has become so successful, is that we actually really care about what you are getting. Yes, we do. And your experience with our company. Yes, we do. I wanted to show something cool real quick. Yep. Yeah. This is an XST-1263 that I had, somebody had built for me off of a prototype blank. And we were talking last week about different blank colors. You could probably see the color. I'm not sure if you can see the color of this one really good. It's kind of like a steel blue metallic color that I had prototyped for somebody a, a long time ago. This rod, I'm not even sure how old this particular rod is but you can see it's a beautiful color somebody wrapped it for me so different colors obviously options on anything and this one has the blank exposed seat has the bedazzled butt cap anyways different things People, bedazzled butt cap the bedazzled <laughs> this is my bedazzled butt cap can you see it <laughs> it's machined butt cap right yep you like that name i don't think that's the official name but that's what i call it i like the it. bedazzled it's, butt cap. it's perfect yeah it's yeah. perfect yeah. Okay, um, All I right, think Jeff. we've been on here for about an hour. And it feels we, good. We feel really good about this. I mean, yes. if there are some unanswered questions, we are going to be getting on, trying to answer as many as possible. Sean, and then some of them we are going to be for saving her. for next week's video, yes. which we will be doing. Yes. What are we doing next week's video on? Oh, yeah. One of my favorites. I know. One of my favorites. Saltwater tuna. Woo! Obviously, it's very wide open. There's yeah. a lot of different things to talk about, but we're going to be talking about one of my favorites, tuna fishing. Yeah, so if you have any questions about that, you can type them in the comments, um, and we'll be answering some questions next week. Yes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching Blank Talk. We really appreciate it. Um, we got to let these warehouse guys yeah. get back to work. 
Yes, so. most definitely. So anyways, thanks again. Anything else? That's I it. I think we're good. All right. Aloha. Aloha. Fish, Fish on. on. Woo-hoo. Woo.